Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, thank you for the love and support that you're instilling inside yourself. You're pushing out towards other people and especially the universe. We totally need that right now. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload our next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up. Tell me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you... Um, if you love the vibes you're getting from the video or the good information you feel like a fellow empath needs to hear right now, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and sending me so much love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I don't know, y'all, why every time I get ready to make a video, my nose starts itching really bad. But... Um, I guess it's like that psychic in the, in, uh, indication that something, you're about to speak on something good. Um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hayokas can't sit and wait for change. Become the change. We have to. You know, um, there's so many things we go through on a daily basis, which can be so freaking hard, so freaking hard. But we cannot, we can't, when we when we see the daydreams or the, even the visions that we are placed in a better light um, in better situations uh, you have to be able to create that for yourself you can't wait for universe to just up and throw it in your lap because it's not going to happen you can keep on saying better days are coming better days are coming but what are you putting forth to do your half you know because Angels, universe, God, they will supply us with anything, but we have to be able to put that work in to say, you know what, I see Sam over here doing this. Let, let me go ahead and bless him. And when Sam gets these little bitty blessings, you know, it might it might seem really small, but you're like, oh, okay. But you have to be able to be grateful for those little blessings. And the more you're grateful for those little blessings, the more universe and God will bless you with more things. And the more blessings that you, you know, you are grateful for, even if it's for waking up in the morning, to be able to step out and see the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. You know, you have to be able to make that change within yourself. You know, I going through my situation... And I really don't like using my situation as like a platform or whatever. But I really, I have to really say I'm blessed. Even though I've been through hell, my family has put me through hell. I always felt like, you know what, God, that's that's so messed up that my family controlled my happiness. My family took me away from my family. Even though my family has came forth and wanted to be in my life, they controlled that how my family seen me, put bad energy out about me because they didn't want me to be with my family all over finances for them to be able to live good and you know when I, I really used to be sad and let that consume me and it's just like now it's like the frame of mind I felt like God owed me something universe and God don't owe you anything they don't you know it's a, a it's a blessing when I can see somebody who has been adopted to be in a positive frame of mind positive family that you know even though your biological family could not do that for you they wished that upon you that, okay, since I can't be able to do this, let me put, you know, let me give my child up for adoption so they can have that better life for themselves. I actually didn't. I didn't have that. I had like that <laughs> nightmare of a life. But then when I had to look at it, there's a reason behind the things that I went through. Knowing that today is that day where I went through so much hell and be able to push my story out about me being related to a celebrity and my dad wanted to be in my life my mom wanted to be in my life but there was reasons behind us being separated you know my dad made music on his hurt and pain and love and joy that he tried to push out for people which people admired him he influenced a lot of people and me I'm doing my part I'm pushing making videos positive you know uh, 
motivational videos to let people know, yeah, you're an empath. We empaths go through so much hell. You know, we feel every vibration. We feel people's thoughts. We feel people's vibes, you know, which can really be overwhelming. But it, it's just like, what can we contribute to the world to make a positive change? There's so many daggone chaotic things that's coming around. Karma is at her best right now. And I'm just looking like, you know what? I'm going to make sure I stay on her good side because it's like a double-edged sword right now. And it's just like, time is coming about change. Like Sam Cooke said, time is coming change. And it's like... I want to make sure I'm pushing out as much positivity as I possibly can because I'm not trying to get on karma's bad side. People are catching it. R. Kelly catching it. Um, so many other people are catching it. Khloe Kardashian getting into it. You know, all these celebrities. And I'm just like, oh, wait. You know, let me just go ahead and do my little positivity so I don't have to get on her bad side because... I'm not trying to be on Karma's bad side. Karma don't have patience for nobody. Even though she has patience, she'll wait for, you know, that perfect moment to go ahead and, you know, just stick it to you. You know, so it's just like, you know, all these people are getting it. And then it's just like they're surprised they're going through certain situations. If you put yourself out there and you're pushing out negativity and you're doing certain things to people, don't think that that's not going to come back on you. Some people have been getting away with stuff for so many years they don't got comfortable with doing it and thinking, you know, their time, you know, see, their secret's going to be secrets. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just like you, you have to be that change. You know, even though bad things has happened to you, you have to be able to be that positive person. You have to be able to push that love and light towards people because it's just like you can. I, I remember before I started making videos. I see these people making positive videos, you know, telling their story about they went through this, they went through that. You know, I see a lot of motivational speakers that have influenced me in a positive way. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay Shady, Sheedy, um, Infinite Waters, uh, Trent Shelton. Uh, so many people, would be, I mean, that has had hard time that they have focused, they have went through depression they went through hard times they went through bad times you know they never know how their upbringing was um and but for them to convert that over to make positive change is a true blessing because once you have been through so much hell so much hell and you can be able to convert that stuff over into a positive situation is a true blessing you know some of us have gone through things you know I, I know people that are going through stuff and still you know and then it has gone through things that really has messed them up mentally emotionally just messed them up and being able to come out of that it takes a lot of strength you know I see people and you know, like my dad used to always say, I see this strength in you. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? I don't see that. And he, it's just like he saw that in me that I couldn't see in myself. And being able to um, understand that things do happen. You know, stuff happens. But it's how you recover from that. That's what's important. How you're able to keep going, even though there's days that you don't feel like getting out of bed. That takes strength. Putting a smile on your face and wishing, wishing happy blessings towards somebody, that takes a lot. You know, the littlest things, that brings about a change. When you're pushing out positivity, knowing better days are coming, even though there's times you don't see it, you have to be able to fake it to make it. When you keep on telling your mind, okay, you know, better days are coming. I might not be seeing them right now, but I have this feeling that better days are coming. When you keep telling yourself that each and every day, putting more positive words into your your heart you know into your vibe into your atmosphere positive things come about that you know we weren't meant to stay in darkness we weren't meant to stay in a sad state you know if other people decide to do that you know i've said that before some people are okay just being but there are sometimes God has put certain people in situations that have broke them in every way possible. I'm one of those people. You know, when I can sit down and tell somebody the things that I've went through and just say, you know what, enough is enough. I've been through this. I've done that. You know, I've lost my baby brother. I lost my grandparents. I've lost my father. You know, I don't know my mother. You know, all these different things has happened, but I can't hinder on those things. There, There's a reason behind the things that I've went through. There's a reason behind the things that have put me right where I'm at right now. 
But when I know I can make positive videos, motivational videos, be able to help the next person, that's the true blessing that I feel out of my pain. When I know, even though I might not understand it and getting the bigger picture on why I had to find out right after my dad's passing who my father was, being able to deal with that and cope through it, you know, I don't, I don't want to cope through anything, but dealing with that process made me lose my mind but then when I can sit up here and say he has never left me um he's always here even though he's not physically here by my side he's still spiritually here he's still metaphysically here I talk to him every day and that's a true blessing um knowing that God has better things coming for me and that I might not be prepared for you you when you start praying for things and you know you're doing your part to contribute the change in your life even though there's people around you that's not doing that you can't be responsible for them you have to be responsible for your own happiness some people I used to do that look you know look for people to make me happy when I wasn't willing to do it myself you can't put base your happiness on what other people are doing you can't Wait for them to bring you happiness when you're not instilling it into yourself. You can be able to give it out, but you have to be able to do that for yourself as well. You know, you can see all the strength in other people, but you have to be able to see it within yourself as well. So, no the more things that you know it wasn't meant for you to stay in the sad situation that you you've been in you're asking God why did this happen to me why me why not you maybe you were that person that had to be broken for you to be able to push your story out on somebody else to be able to help that when you know you're pushing out positivity and make a change of frame of mind for somebody else to be able to say you know what this person's been through this and they can still put a smile on their face they can still say positive things Every day I'm not a positive person, but I'm not going to spend the rest of my life. That Life is too short. I feel like life is way too short for me to sit up here and be thinking about, oh, this happened to me, that happened to me, that happened. You know, and I feel bad for people that are going through situations like this because the ego can get the best of you. Your pain that you have uh, endured can get the best of you. But you have to be able to say, I'm not a product of what happened to me. I'm not a product of this situation. I'm bringing change about myself. I'm bringing change towards other people. I'm pushing that out towards myself. Instilling that in myself and pushing that out towards other people. Because better days are coming. You have to be able to make that change for yourself if you want change. It's not going to come in your lap. You have to be able to put, do your part. So when the universe sees you doing your part, they'll be able to bring more positive things towards your way. When you are blessed just for the little things that come into your life, I'm blessed. You know, even though my car is broke down. Yeah, my car is broke down. But this gives me more time to do what I got to do for me. I don't have to be running around doing everything for everybody else when I don't instill it in for me. You know, and it's just like, okay, things are coming. You know, my, my car is getting fixed. You know, this gives me that time to go ahead and work on the things that I need to work on. Put out that positivity. Make that change, that positive change for myself. While, you know, other people are, you know, looking at their lives like, you know what? She's right. Life is too short. Why should you, you know, like, why would you spend your time being unhappy when you can push joy out into your life? Push joy out towards other people. Know that better days are coming, but you have to be able to do your part. Positive days is not going to come unless you push them out. You know, when when you want change, you have to be, be willing to be that change. You have to be able to convert yourself over to know that better days are coming. And more things will manifest towards your way. Well, as quick as negative stuff comes towards your way positive stuff can too but you have to decide on what you're going to put more of your power in it shouldn't be negativity it should be happiness love joy you know positive vibes loving vibes knowing that those days are coming for you so i hope you were able to you know resonate with the content of that video much love to y'all not putting nobody down but you know you deserve happiness that's where your heart needs to be not towards anything that has upset you or hurt you or, you know, had you stagnant for so long. I'm not going to give any shout outs to this video because this is almost 15 minutes long. So much love to you. Send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved because I'm always sitting up here praying for better days for you. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.